Yo, what is up guys, I'm Dane, welcome back to Damon at Game, where we have a brand new Black Ops 3 video for you today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn on the rocket pad at your own peril. So without further ado, let's get straight into that video. Now if you've played Dark Eyes and Drac, uh, Playstation or Xbox, you know that the rocket pad going off um, is a pretty important step in the game, or the easter eggs, it allows you to get the DG4 Ragnaroks, or a part for the DG4 Ragnaroks, and it's also a really important part for the fireboat upgrade. I mean, as we all know, waiting for this rocket to go off, it can be quite a pain. It can be a pain sometimes. So there's plenty of times that I've used a teleporter, just missed the rocket pad, and I'm waiting an awful long time just to get the rocket pad activated again. Well, no more. <laughs> um, there has been a way to find how to automatically set off the rocket pad. It's absolutely amazing. It, it makes Easter eggs go a lot quicker. Um, I mean, picking up the part is a lot quicker. It just makes the game that little bit less stressful um, when you're trying to do things like the Easter egg itself. Now, if I'm 100% honest, I find out about this technique probably about two weeks ago from some guy on Reddit. Um, I have searched and searched and searched for the post. I cannot find it whatsoever, but I'm also going to give a credit to Glitching Queen. Um, she just uploaded a video just like this, uh, reminding me basically, completely reminding me that this, this was a thing. I pretty much expect all you guys know Glitching Queen, but if you don't, an amazing YouTuber, please go and check her out. You will not be disappointed. I guarantee you won't leave without subscribing. So make sure you go and check her out, please. Anyway, let's get straight into that video and let's see how it's done. So you need to get to the Undercroft. You need to turn on the Moon Gravity. If you don't know how to turn on the Moon Gravity, it's very simple. I expect half of you do. Surrounded in the pyramid is four stone slabs. As you stand on a stone slab, they turn blue. You turn all four blue, the Moon Gravity comes on. It comes on at a random rate, but it comes on automatically the first time you do it. So you want to turn the Moon Gravity on, then make your way to the bottom end of the Undercroft. At the bottom end of the Undercroft is a little blue square on the wall. Now there's a few blue squares on the walls, but it's only this one that actually turns on the rocket pad. This is the same blue square that allows you to get the free death machine. If you run over the blue square, you hear the little sound like you've bought something or you've just built a barrier and a death machine appears above the pyramid at the other end of the undercroft. Not only does it give you the death machine, it also activates the rocket pad. So this is only a two player, you have to have two players to do this, there's no possible way to do it with solo. I don't think as of yet, again if there will be, I'll update you as soon as possible. So to clarify, it's got to be two players or more, not just two players, sorry about that. It's got to be two to four players, basically there has to be another person on the map. So what you want to do, you want to have your mate um, at the rocket pad itself and you want to run on top of that square that gives you the free death machine. All you have to do is wait for the moon gravity to turn on, jump up to the square or roll one across the square and in an instant the rocket ship will start to take off. So in short, send your friend to the rocket pad, wait for a signal, run across the square, boom, you've got your rocket launch. Now this could be done as many times as you wish in a game, it's not limited to once, you can do it as many times as you want, so if you fail what you was doing the first time, just go back, run across the square, of course after the rocket launch is finished, um, and you can activate it again, this is, is as easy as that. Like I said, this is a, such a handy tip, I mean, I think waiting for the rocket pad sometimes can take like two rounds, I mean, I've never actually waited for it in the same round for the rocket pad to go off, I've had to go a couple of rounds first f to make it sort of activate again. Or sods will always have gone to the rocket pad and it's taken off straight away and I wasn't ready to do what I wanted to do. So this is an absolutely amazing step to basically avoid all those problems. Guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. Um, did you think it was a good easter egg? Have you done it yourself? Even did you even know about this before you watched this video? If so or if not, please leave a comment in the comment box below. I'd really like to know. Um, my fans mean an awful lot to me. I don't know if you've noticed, but I reply to all my messages. Um, yeah, you're my community, so if you want to talk to me uh, about anything, even if it's non-Black Ops 3 related, just drop it in the comment box. And I'm all, if I'm not there within a few hours, I will definitely be there within 24 hours um, to discuss whatever you'd like to discuss. But how are you guys getting on with the new DLC? You enjoying it? I mean, Horizon Drac is a pretty epic map. In my own opinion, it is the best map so far. I know we may say that on every map, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a map that I'm not going to say the best. Shadow for Evil for me, or Shadows of Evil for me. It was just too much, just way too much, um, and the fact that you couldn't do the Easter egg solo is a big turn off. And if you don't really enjoy this map, I'm pretty sure in the next three weeks we got DLC too, so woo! Guys, if you did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate your like rating. I'd really appreciate if you comment in the comment box below just saying that you enjoyed the video or hashtag Dame's a Beast. Um, <laughs> or whatever, hashtag anything, you know. But for now guys, until the next video, this is your boy Dame, and I'm out! Listen.